Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Um, today I just want us to do something different, uh, but it's just going to be in Photoshop. But this one is just going to be. We just want to slide through uh, photography text, like extending a background. Maybe after taking a shoot and you realize that there are some, you know, white space or space and water space that you don't like, and how you extend the background so that it can cover it how you like it. Yes, something like this. So when you check on this particular image, you see that all these are not needed all these are not needed only we only need a subject here and the background that and that's all yes but if you have if you have something like this or you encounter this kind of problem how you going to solve that how you going to remove those things and make it so beautiful yes how do you do that so let's just go to photoshop and let's get it done so first of all we just need to come to our photoshop like this and the next thing that we need to do is to just import in the picture or that particular image and we start working on it so that is how i'm just going to have it like that you get that yes and in this particular this thing the first thing i need to do for uh, uh for this particular image is that i just want to crop it up before i can do anything magic on that so let's just come and pick our crop to then we come and choose a front image and we use four by five in 300 uh, pixels yes and that one this way would be okay for me but over there i just want to make this one come like this you get that yes for the tutorial so let's just have it like that and then i'll just click okay so right now that is how we now have it just like this but these things are still there and there are two uh, tools that you can use you can either use the the, the, the what is it the, rectangle, the rectangular market tool to do that or you can use the spot healing brush to, to also do that so first of all let's just use them uh, rectangular market tool to do that so first of all just come and pick rectangular market tool over here then you select part of it like you want to cover all this with the same thing so just let's just come and cover pick somewhere like this to the top you get that so you can see that it has now selected like this so the next thing you have to do is go to image then you come to free transform you get that then you click on free transform you get that so the next thing you need to do is to just drag it just like this and when you drag it like this you see that there is something over here that goes uh, this way but that is not there so you don't need to do it that way what you need to do is to hold one shift hold shift and just drag it you see some magic over there you get that yes this is beautiful so over here to so do the same thing to it like this and then you go to in, in, in edit and you come to free transform then you hold your shift and just drag it like that and you have something like that over there you get that yes and the next thing we need to do is that this one too, we don't need it so what we need to do is to do the same thing to that particular page too and uh, you can just have it so after doing it if you don't want to go to edit and do can do that kind of thing you just have to press ctrl t that's free transform again then you hold your shift and just move it in like that yes and you have it like this okay yes and after this you can now work with your background by smoothing it or by doing any kind of thing to it maybe you have some kind of uh, wrapping background of that yeah, you can just do it. so this is how we extend background in photoshop and this is just a photographic tech that maybe we, you took a picture and at the, end, at the end of the day you have that kind of problems then you can just do that so when you check on the before and then after you see that uh you get uh, this tech to be helpful and uh, only what you need to do is to just uh, have it like that yes and that is how it is and that is what we do you get that yes that is the initial 
picture or the inside image then we transform it to this and over here you can now use it yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and my next tutorial will be how to smooth the background you have a background that have that kind of you know how to clean the the, the seamless background in photoshop so just keep up with this this is photographic section and i'm going to teach you more and more on this uh, particular tutorial yes thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye